The following tutorial will walk you through how to create an electronic chain of custody, commonly referred to as an ECOC, in the customer portal. An ECOC template can be created from an existing job or supply order by clicking on the three dots beside a submission or draft and selecting the new template icon. It can also be created from scratch by clicking on the ECOC templates menu and selecting new template. To begin, Enter the name of your template so you can easily reference this template for future orders. This name can be edited at any time. Select a company and contact to which the invoice must be sent. If the contact does not appear on the drop-down menu, select Custom and enter in their name, phone number, and email address to create a new contact. After entering the email address, hit the plus icon to submit the entry. If the analytical report needs to be submitted to the same contact as the invoice, select Same as Invoice under the company name, or if the report needs to be sent to another company, select it from the drop-down list. Then select the employee's name under Report Attention. You can also send the report to additional email recipients by entering them individually under the Email Recipient list. Under Project Information, select your submission type. This selection reveals additional fields and will help define the required information as you move through the next steps. If you are doing environmental work in Ontario, please select Yes or No next to the Record of Site Condition to indicate whether this is required for your submission. To include criteria on your Certificate of Analysis, make the appropriate selection from the drop-down list under Criteria 1 and select Yes next to the question include on C of A, you can select up to two different criteria. Click Save and Next to save your template and move to the next step. In Step 2, you will identify the tests you will be ordering. Choose from the list of quotes which will display the available tests below. To narrow down this list, start typing in a name, matrix, parameter, or method in the Search Selected Quote field. Check off one or more of the test packages within the available tests box and click on the Add button to move them into the selected tests box on the right. If you added the wrong test, you can check it off under Selected Tests and click on the Remove button. If you can't find a test or are unsure of which one to select, you can manually add a test. Simply type the name of the test you require into the Manually Add a Test field and click on the plus icon. The appropriate test will be applied to the order upon receipt at the lab. Click Save and Next to move to the next step. In Step 3, you will identify the details of your samples. The sample details and tests you enter here can be pre-populated on your template to make it faster to submit a job in the field, communicate sampling requirements to other team members, or to ensure consistent sampling and analysis throughout your project. All of the information that is pre-populated can be edited at the time of the actual submission. To begin, enter in your sample IDs and select the relevant matrix and the number of bottles being submitted. Then select the sampled on date from the calendar picker, enter in the sampled on time, and select the test you would like to order for each sample. Providing the sampling time is optional. However, this information is often used to determine analytical hold times. Click on the plus icon under More Values to select any additional values that pertain to each sample and enter in their details. If the icon is blue, it will identify required values under Customer Requirements and Optional Values under Optional. After completing your entries, click Save and Close on the top right or Update All to apply these values to all of the samples you have entered. Then, select the relevant tests and complete entering the rest of your samples. For food submissions, you can optionally click on Create Composite to define your composite sample. Watch our how-to video on creating composites if you'd like to use this feature. If you will be collecting a sample at a location that does not have internet access, you can click on the Save and Create Excel button to download an editable spreadsheet that you can work with offline. Once you are back online, you can upload this file under the Jobs menu. Please note that this spreadsheet does not replace a paper COC, so it cannot be dropped off at the lab in hard copy format. Lastly, you can optionally enter in any special handling instructions in the text box under Comments. Choose Save and Next to move to the next step. In Step 4, 
Add your shipping information to complete the final step of setting up your template. Select the lab to which you will be submitting your samples and the service level you require. Indicate when you expect the samples to arrive at the lab and the shipping method you will be using. If you have one, enter in your Weibo number, then click Save and Close to save your template. You can come back to your template at any time by accessing the ECOC Templates menu. If you have multiple templates and you'd like to mark one as a favorite, click on the bookmark icon to the left of the row to pin this template. You can now find this under Pinned Templates. For additional options, click on the three dots to the right of the template. You can edit, copy and share this template or create a new job when you are ready to submit samples and it will be pre-populated with the information provided in this template. You can also order supplies, export to Excel, or delete the template. After submitting an ECOC, you will need to complete and include a physical custody tracking form with your samples. The custody tracking form acts as your proof of submission to the lab. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and thank you for watching. For additional how-to videos and instructions, visit the Resources tab in the Customer Portal.